Centuries ago, Cleopatra bathed in milk to preserve her beauty. Fast forward to today, where the quest for ageless skin has met technology that some say is better than Botox. Microneedling has emerged as the modern Cleopatra's secret, but many are still stuck using Botox. Wondering which one could be your fountain of youth? We're here to decode that for you. Let's dive into the transformative world of microneedling. So, what is microneedling? Microneedling is a cosmetic procedure that distinguishes itself from other needle applications, like drug delivery or vaccination, by using a microneedling pen. The microneedle pen typically comes with interchangeable needle cartridges that contain multiple fine needles made of medical-grade stainless steel or titanium. Microneedling is one of the leading collagen induction therapies aimed at skin rejuvenation. Imagine creating small punctures on your skin's top layer of the epidermis, stimulating your body's innate healing prowess. These punctures or micro injuries are created using the tiny needles in the microneedle pen. The microneedle pen has adjustable depth settings so the practitioner can precisely control how deep the needles penetrate the skin depending on the treatment area and individual skin type. Even the smallest setting reaches the skin's superficial layer, triggering a healing response. The magic lies in how our skin perceives these punctures. It's like faking a wound, prompting a boost in collagen production, skin thickening, and texture improvement that softens fine lines and wrinkles. But don't let the thought of tiny needle punctures scare you away from this transformative treatment. Before any microneedle session begins, a topical numbing cream is applied to the skin to ensure optimal comfort and minimal pain. And unlike many other cosmetic procedures, microneedling is a minimally invasive procedure with short recovery times. After your microneedle procedure, you can expect some redness that fades away within a few hours. Most people can return to their normal activities within 24 hours, so there is minimal downtime. A sunblock of at least an SPF 30 is recommended to protect the new skin from harmful UV rays for several days following treatment. It is also recommended that you don't use any retinol creams for five to six days after your microneedle procedure. Bonus, it's a powerful remedy for mending acne scars, eliminating sunspots or age spots, and shrinking pores. It's not just microneedling, it's a skin revival. Benefits of microneedling. Exploring deeper into microneedling, its benefits transcend mere simple charm. With the onset of our 30s, we face a decline in collagen and elastin the skin's makeup. Wrinkles, fine lines, and sunspots, those unwelcome age indicators, are adeptly countered. Microneedling's magic lies in its ability to stimulate growth. This revitalizes skin by boosting natural collagen production, consequently firming skin and erasing wrinkles. Post-treatment, one can revel in softer, even textured, and more youthful-looking skin. Microneedling isn't just for fine lines and wrinkles. Acne scars, a pain to many, can be significantly mitigated. The depth and intensity of the treatment can be adjusted based on the type and severity of the scars. You'll probably want to plan a series of treatments spaced six to eight weeks apart for optimal results. Microneedling disrupts fibrosis and rectifies color inconsistencies. Say a triumphant goodbye to those annoying sunspots or age spots known as hyperpigmentation. Microneedling breaks down melanin, the pigment responsible for skin color, prompting the natural healing process leading the skin to shed damaged cells and reduce the pigment buildup. Tenacious blackheads are also shown the exit by tightening pores and reducing the chance of clogging. Lastly, microneedling is a staunch ally for those pursuing enduring youthfulness. Regular microneedle sessions, especially when paired with plant-based stem cells and antioxidants like vitamin C, hold the promise of a prolonged, radiant, wrinkle-free appearance. The key is prevention and microneedling delivers. Microneedling as a collagen induction therapy. Diving into the intricacies of microneedling, it's vital to understand its essence, collagen induction therapy, CIT. CIT can also encompass other treatments and technologies aimed at achieving the same goal, such as laser therapies, ultrasound, and radio frequency devices. However, microneedling is one of the most widely recognized and commonly used methods for CIT. By repeatedly puncturing the skin with tiny, sterile microneedles, it addresses scars and acne and goes beyond rewriting your skin's narrative. The exciting synergy of microneedling, combined with treatments like plasma fibroblast therapy, offers a comprehensive approach to skin rejuvenation, addressing fine lines, wrinkles, and skin tightening, all while stimulating collagen production for long-lasting results. However, a word of caution. Both microneedling and plasma fibroblast therapy should be performed by experienced and trained professionals. Combining them requires a high level of skill to ensure safety and efficacy. Safety first, always. Microneedle devices, a closer look. Microneedling isn't anything new. 
The origins of microneedling trace back to 1905 when German dermatologist Ernst Kromayer pioneered the technique. He treated scars, birthmarks, and hyperpigmentation using motor-driven dental burrs of different sizes. What a microneedle pen looks like. On a cylinder for rolling across the skin, dermal roller with tiny pins typically for the at-home experience. Their depths differ. Some merely caress the skin's uppermost layers. Or for professionals, tiny pins in a distinct pattern at the tip of a motorized, pen-like tool that dives deeper into the skin, interacting with living cells, nerves, and vessels. But are all these microneedles products under the FDA's purview? Not exactly. FDA-regulated microneedle devices. FDA-endorsed microneedle devices target facial and abdominal scars and wrinkles. Primarily pen-shaped and motorized, they're designed to reshape underlying skin structures. Given their depth, consulting a specialized healthcare provider is advised. Over-the-counter sales for these are yet to get the green light from the FDA. Unregulated microneedle product. Conversely, some products like microneedle derma rollers with blunt short needles only claim skin exfoliation or cosmetic enhancement. Being non-invasive, they aren't categorized as medical devices by the FDA and are often available for home use. Ever dreamed that a single treatment could be a Swiss Army knife for your beauty regimen? From fine lines and wrinkles, acne scars to hair, let's uncover microneedling's versatility. Microneedling, beyond facial rejuvenation. While microneedling has earned awards for reviving facial skin, its magic extends much further. Does it work for that distressing hair thinning? You bet it does. Beyond skin, microneedling offers hope for hair loss sufferers and those battling conditions like alopecia. The micro wounds it creates potentially rejuvenate hair follicles, especially when combined with growth-stimulating stem cells, paving the way for new hair growth on the scalp. An affordable laser alternative. While laser treatments have their merits, they can burn a hole in your pocket. Microneedling emerges as a cost-effective contender with effects mirroring those of laser and skin peels. Plus, its minimal downtime is an added bonus for many. Microneedling versus Botox. What's the difference? The choice between microneedling and Botox can be confusing for those looking to rejuvenate their skin. Both offer compelling advantages for achieving a youthful appearance. Here's a breakdown. Botox, or botulinum toxin, is injected directly into the specific facial muscles to temporarily paralyze or weaken them using a standard medical needle or shot. This reduces muscle activity, which can minimize the appearance of wrinkles caused by repetitive facial expressions like frowning or squinting. Botox provides quick results, typically within a few days after treatment, and the effects can last for several months. The effects of Botox are temporary, and maintenance injections are necessary to maintain results. The long-term effects of the injections into muscle can significantly damage tissue. Similarities Both microneedling and Botox injections are deemed safe boasting an impressive track record without significant complications. Each targets skin issues, primarily addressing fine lines and wrinkles. Both are minimally invasive treatments and promise little to no downtime. Differences. Procedure approach. While microneedling nourishes skin through punctures, Botox involves injecting a substance to stiffen skin muscles. Healing mechanism. Microneedling stimulates collagen production and blood flow, whereas Botox restricts muscle relaxation with toxins. Skin Impact Botox excels in rectifying saggy skin and dynamic wrinkles. Conversely, microneedling addresses pigmentation, improves skin texture, and mitigates stretch marks. Combination Treatments Microneedling can be complemented with other skin treatments, whereas Botox typically stands alone due to potential chemical interactions. Results Timeline Botox offers almost instant results peaking within two weeks. Microneedling's benefits, however, unfold gradually over three months, though subtle improvements might be visible sooner. Microneedle, preparation and process. Before heading out into the art of microneedling, the canvas, your skin, requires thoughtful preparation. To maximize benefits and dodge complications, your skin needs calmness. Less is more. Resist the urge to bombard your skin with multiple products, Retinoids, topical antibiotics, and even over-the-counter pain relievers like ibuprofen are best set aside as they can inhibit natural healing. Keep exfoliation at bay a few days prior, and for those on acne treatments, pausing for a few weeks might be prudent. The sun's rays? Shield yourself diligently with sunscreen for at least two weeks and sidestep any hair removal techniques. As for the main event, expect a methodical approach. To ensure comfort, a numbing agent initially graces your skin followed by an alcohol-based cleanse to deter infections. 
The microneedling magic unfolds in varied motions, circular, linear, or both, tailored to your skin's topology. Amplify the experience by coupling it with a mild chemical peel, which can revitalize texture and appearance. Alternatively, consider cool lifting, supercharging recovery with cold hyaluronic acid. In conclusion, while both Botox and microneedling serve as potent allies against skin aging, their approach and benefits vary. Microneedling promotes skin healing by triggering collagen production, targeting issues like hyperpigmentation and scars. In contrast, Botox leverages botulinum toxin injections to inhibit muscle movement, achieving skin tightening. When considering either, not every treatment is right for everybody. Those looking to go the natural route will no doubt look to stick to microneedling. That and its long-term benefits definitely give it the edge against Botox. But as always, seek professional advice first. Before you dash off, remember it's not just about the procedure, but the maestro behind it. Your skin's symphony requires a conductor who knows their notes. So, in the grand ballet of beauty, where do you stand? Microneedling, Botox, or a duet of both? Share your thoughts, your stories, your curiosities. Let's craft our ageless tales together right here.